All right. How you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith, a.k.a. The Salty Boomer, and this is the Aimless News Report for Tuesday, January 10th, 2023. And from 1970 to 2020, 50 years, 1,312 athletes suffered from cardiac arrest and died. 2021 and 2022, two years, 1,598 athletes suffered from cardiac arrest and died. The leftists always want to look at the numbers until the numbers no longer fit their narrative. And speaking of numbers, looky here. Almost two years later, but the aimless news has been telling you that hospitals were getting paid for COVID diagnosis, putting people on remdesivir, putting people on the intubators, and also on the death certificate. And it finally, the mainstream media is getting around to covering it. Those of you that have been listening to me know I've been saying this for a couple of years, but it is nice to see that they're finally getting around to it. COVID and you end up in the hospital, you're put on a rigid protocol and there is high mortality rate in the hospital and your family is kept in the dark as to what's happening. So what's going on here? Number one, the CARES Act is providing bonus payments to hospitals whenever you have a diagnosis of COVID. And then number two, the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services is waiving patient rights. This is a deadly combination. So here's what happens. You get a payment because you offer a free COVID test in the emergency room. You get a boost payment if you have a diagnosis of COVID. Number three, you get another bonus payment if you are admitted with COVID. Number four, you get another bonus payment if you're put on remdesivir. Number five, another bonus payment if you're put on a mechanical ventilator. Number six, another 20% bonus if the diagnosis on your death certificate says COVID, even though you may not have died from COVID. And then number seven, there's bonus payments to coroners. Do you understand the gravity of what's happening right now? I sure do. And I have understood it for over two years. They get over $100,000 per person to run them through their murder mills. And I've been telling people this for a long time. Glad to see you guys are finally catching up to the aimless news. Potato Head Biden makes the most out-of-touch statement yet. Well, I don't know. There's a lot to compete with. Potato Head says families can get up to $3,200 tax credit to make their homes more energy efficient, reducing their prices. And that's an estimated 500 bucks a year. Now that's going to make a big difference in their lives. And by putting on new windows and new doors and lowering your energy bills, a whole range of things that go to be able to do. Yeah, who knows what that means, but that's what he said. So much like paying 55000 to 80000 or more to go buy an electric vehicle, that is obsolete before you even buy it to get a tax credit of about 7500 or something like that. This dumb ass thinks that people have money to go put all new windows and doors in their house. If you're complaining about energy bills, just put new windows and doors. And you got to put on new windows and doors, not put in. And then you'll get $3,200 tax credit. So go spend $50,000 installing new windows and doors into your house so you can lower your energy bills that you peasants are complaining too much about. And we'll give you $3,000 tax credit. Of course, inflation will wipe that out. So never mind. Uh-oh, USDA approves first vaccine for honeybees. 
And there he is, the guy that's qualified to do none of this is always involved. A biotech company in Georgia has received conditional approval from the United States Department of Agriculture for the first vaccine for honeybees. So they're going to get that vaccine into you one way or another. So they're going to u- utilize vaccination through pollination. In other words, give it to the bees. The bees pollinate the food. You eat the food. They're going to get you into that. They're going to get it into you somehow, one way or the other. Fuckhead Fauci used to say that you had to wait 12 years for a vaccine to be tested or else what could happen? If you take it and then a year goes by and everybody's fine. Okay, that's good. Now let's give it to uh, 500 people and then a year goes by and everything's fine. Say, well, now let's give it to thousands of people and then you find out that it takes 12 years for all hell to break loose and then what have you done? 12 years for all hell to break loose and then what have you done? Yeah, what have you done, Fauci, you little gnome? I think you know exactly what you've done because you were the one that created AIDS and now you have created this coronavirus and these vaccines that are killing people. You know exactly what you've done, you fucking asshole. Critical, the WHO to finalize proposed IHR amendments this week in a secret meeting. The International Health Regulations Review Committee, I don't like the sounds of that already, of the World Hoax Organization is planning to meet in secret from Monday, January 9th to Friday, January 13th. They will will be working to finalize a 46-page document that includes proposed amendments to the international health regulations. The proposed amendments would change the overall nature of the World Hoax Organization from an advisory organization that merely makes recommendations to a governing body whose proclamations would be legally binding. Yeah, I don't like that. Greatly expand the scope of the international health regulations to include scenarios that merely have a potential to impact public health. So that would mean whatever they say might happen, you have to obey. Seek to remove respect for dignity, human rights, and fundamental freedoms of people. Give the Director General of the WHO control over the means of production through an allocation plan for health products to require developed states' parties to supply pandemic response products as directed. Give the World Hoax Organization the authority to require medical examinations, proof of prophylactics, proof of vaccine, and to implement contact tracing, quarantine, and treatment. Institute a system of global health certificates in digital or paper format, including test certificates, vaccine certificates, prophylaxis certificates, recovery certificates, passenger locator forms, and a traveler's health declaration. Redirect unspecified billions of dollars to the pharmaceutical hospital emergency industrial complex with no accountability. Allow the disclosure of personal health data. Greatly expand the World Hoax Organization's capacity to censor what they consider to be misinformation and disinformation. Create an obligation to build, provide, and maintain a IHR infrastructure at points of entry. So this is what they are up to this week. An unelected body, this Tedros idiot. He's a vet. He's not even a doctor. I think he was a veterinarian one time. He's in charge of the WHO now. Because, you know, St. Klaus and the WEF actually run all this shit. So this is what they're trying to cram down everybody's throat this week. Get ready, folks. What do you think about all that? Monday's energy absurdity, what it takes to electrify a manufacturing plant with wind will shock you. Yeah, wind and solar are dead in the water. They're just pushing this shit to create fear. Because wind and solar power can't produce energy when the wind isn't blowing or the sun isn't shining, 
projects need a large amount of excess capacity to cover the steady electricity needs of factories. More than two gigawatts of wind energy capacity will be needed to meet the alcohol smelter's electricity consumption. So in other words, you must build five times the plant's energy consumption to hope to have enough winter generation capacity to fill this isolated need. Wind and solar are strictly a way to control you. It's all a bunch of bullshit. It'll never fucking work. Time to go nuclear. Brunson Brothers case is denied by the Supreme Court. What a shocker. That was never going to be heard. These guys actually thought they were going to get Potato Head Biden, Kamala Harris, Mike Pence, and 385 members of Congress. They actually thought the Supreme Court was going to throw them out of office. And they still think they're going to do that. That was a non-starter from the get-go. Crypto billionaires. Back-to-back deaths spark wild theories among the community. The death of four crypto billionaires within a month has caught the crypto community's attention. The deaths occurred under suspicious circumstances, and some of these billionaires had even raised alarms about being in danger. The spiral started toward the end of October 2022 when Nikolai Mushigian, co-founder of MakerDAO, was found dead on a Puerto Rican beach just hours after tweeting that intelligence agencies were after him. That's quite a coincidence. The next billionaire to perish was broker Javier Piasca, who was found dead on November 22nd in Estoponia, Spain. At the time, Biasco was being investigated for the biggest cryptocurrency fraud in Spain. The next day, Amber Group co-founder Coolander died mysteriously in his sleep. Just two days later, Russian crypto billionaire Taran died in a helicopter crash. Hmm, that's very interesting. Why are all these crypto billionaires dying? They know something about crypto that we don't and uh, we're not supposed to? Probably. Get ready for the central bank digital currency. It's coming. The Swiss central bank posts its biggest loss in its 116-year history. So, this Swiss national bank expects a $143 billion loss for 2022 financial year. Can somebody explain to me, like I'm a guy riding around in my car alone with a mask on, how a company can stay in business if they lose $143 billion in one year? Chechen commander calls $3 billion in U.S. military aid money laundering scheme. So this Chechen commander, Ramzan Kadyrov, says, no worries. I see that some are worried about the foreign aid to Ukraine. Do not worry. This is a working money laundering scheme. Western and Ukrainian officials will embezzle these funds. And no more than 15% of the entire aid will reach the trenches. So this guy says, I don't care how much you give them. None of it's coming against the war anyway. It's all money laundering and being embezzled back to the Western leaders. Guess what? He's right. Inventor in Baja is testing a plan to cool the earth by mimicking a volcanic eruption. So Luke Eisman, another fucking idiot like Bill Gates has decided that blocking out the sun is a good idea. (laughs) Daily Beast journalist who smeared Matt Gates and Herschel Walker used to work for a sanctioned Chinese military company. Look at that soy boy. This story takes the phrase enemy of the people to uncharted levels. He used to work for a sanctioned military company closely linked to the Chinese Communist Party. Yeah, where's the shocker here? Every every aspect of our government, institutions, universities, media has all been infiltrated by the Khazarian Mafia and the CCP. No surprise here. Trans activist woman fired. No, excuse me. Trans activist 
get a woman fired from a video game company for the crime of following the wrong people. So be careful who you're letting know who you're following at your work because you may get some trans person here that is upset about who you are following and turn you in and get you fired. I don't know where we're headed here, folks. This is nuts. The died suddenly account on Twitter is always a good thing to go through. And it's watch this movie if you haven't seen it yet. Here's a brand new story. 45 minutes ago, an 18-year-old has died suddenly while playing basketball, collapsing right on the basketball courts. All attempts to resuscitate her failed. An autopsy is scheduled to determine the cause of death. Members of the Old Dominion's men's basketball team watch in horror. And many are wearing tears when their teammate, Emo Essien, suddenly collapsed. Nothing to see here, folks. This is just all normal stuff. Two-year-old Elizabeth Rose Ranganese died suddenly after receiving both the COVID-19 and the flu shot. What kind of stupid-ass parents are giving two-year-olds a COVID and flu shot? All right, let's move on to something a little more lighthearted, shall we? Turns out there's a video saying what was actually said in those heated meetings between the Republican Party trying to pick a candidate for speaker. Son, what does it go for, Bill? Can you say it? Well, who knows? A really rich doctor said you were a bummer. And I think you don't know algebra. No, we're talking science, bud. The science of what? Is that a tiger? One of your friends promised me I could flick you in your face. Absolutely, you may not do that. Hit him in his cringy smirk, for real. Say any cereal name. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. You're like people in the 12th century. Why'd he say it like that? You're a formulated He's pickle worse popper. Than that. He's a storm cloud. I don't like you, dude. And there's a tiger. Oh, that's it. You two guys sent the tiger. What? I did no. not. Not me. What I mean, tiger? That's just, I mean, that is reprehensible. Okay, yeah. Okay, Brad, I'm a horrible person. Brad, I'll report you to Nadine. I just want your leg bones to be okay. I brought the tiger. Really, you got somebody on the organ now? Hey man, you're gonna pay for dinner. You're gonna fix no! <laughs> Pretty good. That's uh, bad lip reading. <laughs> All right, let's see what Steve Inman has for us today. Freddie comes in with a big dump and throws it on top of his house. And Jackson comes back with a big ass dust pile that lands on his dome. Now it looks like Freddie is going to go into the depths of hell and grab a big mouthful of this dust. Yep, that's right. Comes out and split down right all over his dome. This is perhaps the pettiest argument I've seen in my entire career of commentating random ass videos. Take a look at the replay. Piercy gave up. All right, speed things up. There's no need for slow motion. We'd be here all day. Nothing but a spit buffet contest here tonight. In the Just like people arguing on social media. All right. That's going to do it for this edition of Aimless News. All you people that have an IRA or 401k, I think it's time to start considering transferring over to an IRA backed by gold. The stock market lost 10% of its value last year, which means your IRA and 401k lost 10% of its value. This guy's Morgan Stanley, Mike Wilson, warns the U.S. stocks could slump another 22% if the recession arrives in 2023. Are you willing to risk that? Are you feeling lucky? Well, are you? I think it's time you switch over to gold. Protect your hard-earned money. Go to protectyourhardearnedmoney.com or click the link below this video to get your free 2023 Wealth Protection Kit and find out how you can easily transfer over to get your IRA or 401k protected 
by gold. All right, that's going to do it. I will see you on the next round. Aloha. (laughs) 